Maya 2016 now incorporates the modeling toolkit's transform constraints with any of the standard transform tools. Going into the Tool Options window and selecting either Edge or Surface Constraint will allow you to move the component along the surface or slide to reposition. These are also available through the tool's marking menus by holding down the corresponding hotkey for the tool and left-clicking. The same premise follows through with the Modeling Toolkit's selection constraints. All of the constraints, including Angle, Border, Edge Loop, Edge Ring, and Shell, can be found under the Marking menu for the active tool. The Move tool now includes a function that allows you to easily move a component along its normal by holding down the control key on the keyboard. Maya incorporates a new in-view display for certain operations. This allows you to edit common parameters without having to go into the channel box or attribute editor. The in-view display works well for extruding, merging, and even creating polygon primitives. The bevel command now can be used with face selections, not just with edges. It also provides the handy new in-view display for easy access to the parameters. The multi-cut tool adds some new contextual functionality. Holding down shift and control will allow you to draw 90 degree angles. Holding down shift and dragging on an edge will give you an increment display, making it easy to line up your cuts. Moving the pivot of an object is still D on the keyboard, but now you can easily snap the pivot to a component by clicking on it. Isolate Selected gets new features and becomes more usable. You can now enter and exit Isolate Select mode by hitting Ctrl-1 on the keyboard. Now, newly created objects in Isolation mode will be automatically added to that view. The new Polygon Display Hard Edges mode can visibly show you the model's hard edges without the visual noise of the wireframe display. The hotkey editor has taken an overhaul, making it much simpler and faster to edit keys. The visual display gives instant feedback on hotkey combinations, and editing hotkeys has never been easier. The search field allows you to better find the commands and key assignments from the database. You can even assign your own custom runtime commands to a keystroke. Mental Ray gets some much better, tighter integration with Maya 2016. Now you can create physical lights from the Create menu. Lights include Mental Ray specific Physical Sun, Environment Sky, IBL, Physical Area Light, and a new Object Light. Physical lights now use a new Mila light shader connected to the shape intensity attribute of the light property. The new Mental Ray Object Light lets you easily create a light source from any number of selected objects. The Object Light property offers basic controls for color and intensity. Mental Ray Render Settings renames Unified Sampling to Overall Quality. It also adds some finer controls to the list with some sampler settings for lighting quality environmental lighting, indirect diffuse, and Mila shader quality. There are new render engine options with a new brute force final gather and a new global illumination prototype engine. The GI prototype can run under CPU or GPU, making use of the computer's OpenCL or CUDA-enabled cards for rendering.